Hi guys, this is uh, Nick aka Socrates from singularityweblog.com. Uh, I'm working on an upcoming review for the DNA um, test conducted by 23andMe.com. Anyway, I've already um, signed up for the program and I want to show you uh, what you get in the mail is uh, this package here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, open it, and do my swap test so that you know how it's done. Okay, and uh, I hope that's helpful for you, making up your mind, and uh, read the rest of the review on the blog. Anyway, so let's see what's in here. Contents of the package. Right. So I suspect this would be the return package that uh, you put your uh, test swap and you mail back to them. So this should be the package itself. Okay, first of all, it says you must register this kit before using. Your sample will not be processed until you register. So I already actually uh, knew about this, so I had already opened up the, the browser here. And basically what they're asking us is register your kit. And in order to do that, you have to input the kit number into your browser. So let's do that quickly. Now I'm up and being out. Now they're asking me for my postal code, terms of service, okay, and my name. Consent document. All right, yes, I'd like to. Uh, okay. All right, I have already read those, and I recommend that you all actually read the disclaimers and the warnings for yourself. birthday 20 perhaps you shouldn't be shooting my birthday just in case I get too many birthday cards next time around <laughs> all right and then continue existing profile okay and basically I get a message telling me that I can expect to receive my full results six to eight weeks after mailing uh, my sample to the lab. So that's the paperwork that we had to do. Pretty much straightforward, nothing hard. And I guess we have to go on with the test itself. All right, let's see how hard this is. So first of all, warning. You must complete this process in order to access your genetic information. Register your kit. We already did that. Create your profile. I already did that. So collect your saliva sample. Do not eat, drink, smoke or chew gum for 30 minutes. Okay, that's done. Follow the instructions on the card inside the kit to provide your sample. 
Okay, this is the card right here. Uh, it is important to add the liquid buffer to your saliva by, by snapping shut the blue funnel lid, removing the funnel from the tube and then screwing on the small cap found on, in the kit. The saliva sample collected using this kit is stable at a wide range of temperatures for up to 6 months. The kits expire in 12 months. Samples received 12 months after the order date will not be processed by our lab. Okay, so 6 months is reasonable. Um, and then they give you instructions of how to access your results. So, on with the test we go. 23andMe. Step number one, do not eat or drink, smoke or chew gum for 30 minutes, etc, etc. Preparation, most people take between 2 and 5 minutes to collect a saliva sample following steps 1 to 5. Well, before spitting, relax and rub your cheeks gently for 30 seconds to create saliva. If you find it hard to create saliva, place one quarter tablespoon of white table sugar on your tongue. I don't think we'll have a saliva issue today, so let me just, they said, rub your cheeks for 30 seconds. You think we got 30 seconds? I think we're good. Give it another three or four just for luck. All right, so then what it says is okay, so I have to basically take this, okay, spit until the amount of liquid saliva, not bubbles, reaches the fill line marked on the tube as shown in picture one. Fill up to, oh wow, it's quite substantial, all right. So perhaps you are not dying to watch me do that. So we'll take a pause until I'm spitting. All right guys, so it's full. And what you would notice is that once I closed the cap, there was some kind of a liquid which mixed together with my sample. And the next step here it says um, hold the tube upright with one hand, close the lid with the other hand which I have already done. The liquid in the lid would be released into the tube to mix with the saliva. Make sure the lid is closed tightly. So then hold the tube upright, unscrew the tube from the blue funnel and discard the funnel. So I guess I have to unscrew this. Whoops, how do we, okay. All right, so that was unscrewed, yes. Okay, and then hold the tube upright, use the small cap in the green top. Okay, this is the cap to close the tube, the tube tightly. All right, tightly. I don't think I can tighten it anymore. Okay. Shake the cap tube for five seconds to mix the contents. All right. I think that should be pretty well mixed. Okay. And the last step. Put the sample tube with the small cap in the plastic specimen bag and prepare for shipment using the enclosed supplies. So I suspect put the sample in the small cap in the plastic specimen bag. So I would imagine this is the plastic specimen bag. Would that be? No, that, that's not it. Where is the plastic specimen bag? Ah, there we go. This is the plastic specimen bag. So put the sample tube with the small cap in the plastic specimen bag and prepare for shipment using the enclosed supplies. All right, so basically we gotta put this in here. Okay. And then
close this up. So this is it. This is my specimen bag with my DNA saliva sample in here. We already have the prepared package here. So all that I need to do now is put my sample into the enclosed prepaid return package, close it up and send it back. That's about it. Well, I hope that helps for you to find out how it's done. I was finding out as we went, so that it was a discovery for me too. I'll send this out today and I'll let you know when I get back the results. Hope you enjoyed it. Go to read the rest of the review on singularityweblog.com.